Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan and I'm here making stuff, and that says chaos and making it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time watching my channel, I'm glad you decided to stop by. Hope everyone's having an amazing day and Wednesday, halfway through the week. So if you like today's video, don't forget the thumbs up everyone, it's right down here. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hitting the notification bell. Then you'll know every time I upload a new video. So today's video, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, is Wacky Eyeshadow Wednesday. This is a two channel collab between my channel, Susan's Just Making It, and Stephanie, who is also known as Glitzy Gem. This is a collab where we use a new palette every week, unless we're requested to repeat a palette, and create a new eyeshadow look that's somewhat out of our comfort zone, while encouraging our viewers to do the same. And I'm hoping that you guys are taking advantage of trying something new as a result of watching the collab. We also would like viewers of any age group to join us to see what we create and um, watch and play with your makeup right along with us. So for t this week, the palette that we're going to be using is the Juvia's Place I Live, I Love Ice. Um, Stephanie asked if I would be willing to do um, this palette because a viewer on her um, Wacky Eyeshadow Wednesday um, requested that we do a Juvia's Place palette and this is the only one that we have in common that's Juvia's Place. Now I did have um, Juvia's Place the Nubian 2 but I offered that in the giveaway from our first um, collab video together for Wacky Eyeshadow Wednesdays. So this is the only one I have. I um, received this in my Busy Beauty box and when I first got the box I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this palette or not because it's out of my comfort zone but that's the whole idea of the collab so it's a good thing I did decide to keep it. Now I did create a look with this um, one time and I really didn't care for the way it turned out because I really wasn't sure like um, how they performed or what I wanted to do and like I said it was the first time I played with it. Now when she mentioned this palette I was like oh, no of all my palettes that's my least favorite. No offense to Juvia's Place but it's all like blues basically. Um, when I first looked at it I thought it was more of like a bluish purple but they're blues and <laughs> I'm sorry but me personally every time I look at blue eyeshadow all I think of are the 80s. Now, I was growing up in the 80s. I definitely was all about, like, the fashion and makeup and big hair and all that stuff. And that's all I think of when I think of blue eyeshadow. So I do apologize for those of you that love wearing blue eyeshadow. It just, that's what it screams to me. So I kind of shy away from it. And not only that, as you can see, I have dark brown hair, dark brown eyes, and I just struggle with it. But I'm going to try. So what I want to do... First of all, I'll show you guys the colors in the palette. And it, actually, they show up better when I am back away from the light. Beautiful colors. Just that whole blue thing. Now, this is a glitter. Um, this I probably will not use today. I did try using it last time I used a palette. But without the, like, the glitter glue for your eyeshadows, it really um, doesn't perform well without it. It's gorgeous, but you have the whole glitter thing there. It's a very thick glitter. Then we've got this is a shimmer and this is a shimmer and this is a shimmer. And then we've got the blue in the very light blue that are mattes. Um, they're all gorgeous. But to get a truer sense, because they definitely look different on the skin than they do in the palette, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these real quick first so you can see what the colors really look like. So I'm going to start with the mattes and none of them have like color names on them. So I'm going to start with the mattes and I'm going to start with a little bit of a darker blue, which is not a dark blue, it's like a medium blue. Um, but this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on um, the inner part of my arm that's lighter so it'll show up better. But that's what this one looks like. Let's see if I can get it good without the... So, very pretty. But um, it's not a, a dark, dark blue. Like I said, it's like a medium blue. I'm going to go ahead and get a makeup wipe so that I don't end up with um, eyeshadow on everything. So um, that's that one. Let's put this down on my lap where I can get to it easier. So very pretty. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the lighter blue, the one that's very, very pale. And put it next to the other one. 
see it's much lighter it's um very 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 pale blue almost like um like a, almost a gray to me like a silver or a gray but a matte so there's those two now I'm gonna do um, the shimmers from the lighter to the um I mean the darker to the lighter so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this shimmer here which is really pretty and the shimmers are very um, buttery and this almost looks like a metallic I forgot to show you the um, lighter blue on my finger but see it's super pretty and then we'll do that and it's hard without yeah back here you can see a little bit better see it's, it's like a metallic but gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and put the lightest color on my finger so you can see it um, a little bit better before I had put it on my arm I forgot to show you guys so see this is what it looks like see it's very 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 pale it's like almost barely a blue to it, it looks like a blue tint it's like a blue gray okay so um, now I'm going to show you um, this one now in the pan it looks like blue and silver and when you move it around you can see that there's a slight glitter like to it and this is very pretty too the reason I'm swatching it is because it looks way different on the skin than it does in the pan now this is what this looks like see this is very metallic -y looking and you might not guess that seeing it in the pan and uh, swatch it next to the other one and this is gorgeous too it's right here <laughs> see how it's metallic but it's more of like um this one's more like a true blue and this is like got some um like a more of a gray or a silvery tint to it and then the last color i'm going to swatch is this middle one which is the very pale one and when I move this back and forth, I can see like um, a purpley, pinky, like a little bit of a shift to it. Very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. Now see, that's not showing up that good. See how it's like very silvery, metallic-y looking, shimmery? Very pretty. And it's just not showing true enough. And if I put it up here closer, it's going to be too close to the ring light. You're not going to see. But it's got as I move it it's got like a purple and a pink like shift to it I'm actually more my finger so you can really see um so it's right <laughs> anyway like right here um and I don't know I, I wish I could show you guys a little bit better I'm gonna try doing it on like maybe my wrist where I can show you better because it's just it's too pretty not for you guys not to really see how it looks um it's not showing up as good but um i wish i could show you guys better because it's gorgeous there it's showing a little bit better see how it's got like a different shift in it I like a pink and purple it's it's just really pretty and like i said when i say it's not my favorite palette it's not because the colors aren't pretty it's just i struggle with the blue but like i said um when you mentioned i was like oh my god of all the palettes that one but it's good because it's all about us getting out of our comfort zone. So in that way, it's really good that we're doing this palette. So let me clean a lot of this up so I don't end up with it on my shirt, on my pants, on my legs, the rest of my face and so forth. So I'm just going to seal them a little bit so they don't dry out. So anyway, I'm starting with a bare face like I um, usually do on Wednesdays. Um, I do have a little bit of a um, breakout going on over here. And it's just because it went from cool to hot where I'm at and my skin has not quite acclimated to that yet so with being chilly and then sweating a lot because all of a sudden it got hot it's caused a little bit of a breakout and I'm not thrilled about that but I don't usually have a problem with acne so it should clear up relatively quick I hope so anyway bare face except for my skincare I did go ahead and do my brows um, they're microbladed, but they desperately need to be touched up so they're fading because I don't use enough sunscreen like I'm supposed to. And this one um, looks a little bit lighter, but it's because of the sunlight coming in. So I did my brows. I put a little bit of concealer because I always have a problem with the dark circles. Um, I kind of went heavy handed, but that's okay because um, I noticed that it kind of like doesn't look as bad like a few minutes down the road. And um, eyeshadow primer. So, and then I got everything in front of me earlier to start the video. I'm like, 
I need eyeshadow brushes, so I had to go around and get brushes because this is in my makeup room. I do it in here because the table in there is so tiny I feel cramped. So I come in here where I have a little bit of room to move. So I'm going to see if I can find just a... Um, here's an all-over shadow brush. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this... Um, the, the light matte color and put it on my lid for something to um, build on. So that's what I, where I'm going to start. And I'll try to use this mirror the best I can and if I have a problem I'll use my little hand mirror. So um, I hope everyone is doing really great and is having a great start to their week. Um, I don't know how the weather is where you guys are but like I said um, the weather here is just doesn't seem to be sure what it wants to do. Um, about a month ago, we had snow, and it's been crazy. Like we'll have this is way light. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but um, it's been just crazy. It was snowing, and then it, you know, got a little bit milder. And then it got really warm for a few days and it went back to cold again it's like you don't know how to dress when you get up in the morning like what to grab out of your drawers or your closet because it, one day you might need jeans and a t-shirt the next day you're looking for tank top and shorts the next day you're looking for a sweater it's, it's kind of crazy and like um the temperature it's really warm in my apartment this morning i don't think it's as warm outside as it is in here I went ahead and broke out some summer clothes because it was just um, so uncomfortable last night trying to sleep because it was so ungodly hot. And like I said, the breakout from like sweating because it just got hot so fast. Um, it's like you don't have enough time to get used to the temperature changes. It just goes from one extreme to the other. But um, it's um, supposed to be cooling down. And I think the temperatures are going to be a roller coaster um for the week you know where one day is going to be warm one day a little bit cooler back and forth up and down type of thing so it should be interesting but um yesterday it was so hot it was so hot i try not to go my apartment was hot and i try not to go outside because it was even hotter outside so um i just so yeah i try <laughs> i try to stay inside where it was just a few temperatures cooler and my son's like, Mom, do you want me to help you get the air conditioner in? I'm like, it's a little early for that yet. We'll see. I try to hold off as long as I can because it's not cheap to run an AC. But we'll see. And see how that is so light. And um, this is not fallout. That's just where I went having hand down on the concealer. Which, when I'm done, I will um, see what I need to do with that. But, so went with that now I think I'm gonna get a little bit of a smaller brush let's see what I've got here um, most of my brushes are clean so that's not the problem it's just finding what I think I want to use I'm just gonna use this this is just um a shadow brush but it's got a little bit of an angle to it Let's see if I could put a word. Yeah, there. We can see it. A little bit angled. And I'm going to go into this medium blue. And I think I'm going to do a little bit in the outer corner and work up into my crease and see how that looks. And a lot of this I'm just flying by the seat of my pants because I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this. I'm, I will admit, I'm very very intimidated by this palette. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. It really kind of scares me <laughs> a lot. So um wanna take the time to thank Stephanie again for inviting me to be a part of this collab. Like I've mentioned before, it um forces me to at least create content one day a week. Because <laughs> some days uh some weeks I'm pretty good about getting content out every day almost every day and then other weeks it's like my mask Monday and my Wednesday is all I ended up getting done depends on what's going on in my life um how much content I put out there and what I have for content if I have ideas or not 
but it forces me to get that one video a week out at least and like I said I have eyeshadow palettes it um forces me to play with different ones instead of grabbing the same ones over and over and over so um, that's good so I'm just gonna work up into my crease just a little bit I'm gonna be light-handed because Juvia's Place can be very pigmented and you can always add more but uh, it's more difficult to try to take some away when you've gone heavy-handed so I'm gonna try to go light-handed like I said it's very intimidating I'm looking at it now and I'm getting scared already because of the blue <laughs> I just I can't with the blue we'll see and um, how I look at it and I encourage everyone else to do the same and I have to remind myself of this is that the, if it doesn't turn out that great it is only makeup and it'll wash off <laughs> you know I wouldn't recommend trying a new palette and a new look if you have somewhere you have to rush off to right away and it's important um, if you're playing with a palette for the first time and you're not sure it's going to turn out Pick a day when you don't have anywhere you have to go, just in case. And I don't know, maybe like I'm too critical, maybe it looks fine. It's just um, with it being out of my comfort zone and colors I'm not um, insanely crazy about. Maybe it's just um, looks worse to me than maybe other people. I don't know but um yeah and it's really warm today in here it is starting to be a little bit more comfortable but I don't want to go for a crazy heavy color and I want to I probably won't do any more face makeup today either because it's just too warm in here and with this um acne breakout I don't want to irritate it more than it already is so and like I've asked before you know has this collab encouraged any of you guys to try some different stuff have you grabbed a palette you wouldn't normally grab? Have you um, tried a look you wouldn't normally try? You know? And for the younger people, I know Stephanie's really um, trying to get some younger people to start watching these videos. Um, you know, you guys really can be bold with stuff and not as many... Um, you know getting stuck in your ways type of thing younger people have that advantage that they're not um gotten into habits already and stuck in their ways and, and stuff like that that I, I feel like younger people are more willing to try something different so that's so far so far it's not so bad i think i don't know yet so i'm gonna go in with uh let's see i think i'm gonna use a detail brush for the rest of it just because I want to just use a little bit of the other colors this is a crease brush can't see without my glasses very right? good um, I've had so many brushes but it never seems like I can find just the one I want and it's not like I don't have them clean it's just I don't know I'm going to try these ones. I don't like that one either. I'll just use this pencil brush. Detail pencil brush. And I think I'm going to work from darker to lighter. On I think I'm going to pretty much just leave this for my crease. I don't want a really dark crease. Um, it looks lighter in the camera. And I watched a video earlier that someone mentioned. And it does make a lot of sense. When we have the lights right on us, um, it doesn't show up as much as it does in real life because looking at you guys it looks relatively light but it, sorry I got a fuzzy or something in my eyelash but if I look over here it's much more intense so I think when we do our looks for a video we have to be a little bit careful because it looks fine talking to you guys and on you know the video but then when we get up and walk around in natural light and the rest of the house and stuff it's a little bit more intense so I try to be careful because I don't want to look fine looking at you guys and then I go somewhere else and it looks like wow so anyway that made a lot of sense when they explained that so now I'm going to um, 
go into this darker shimmer in the middle and I'm going to put it just on the outer corner on uh, the lower part of my lid and see what it looks like. And I'm going to try these shimmers with just a brush and if they don't um, perform as well I do have my setting spray here to wet my brush if I need to. But like I said I'm just going to try to keep it light because um, it's warm and I don't want a heavy look and like I said the blue scares me a little bit so I want to be a little conservative just because um, I'm willing to step out of my comfort zone but not leap out of it I guess it's the best way to um, put that and like I've said I really really am enjoying this collab because I'm trying something new um, like I mentioned we get to a certain age and we get set in our ways I think if it wasn't for this clap I would just keep picking the same palettes over and over and over and doing the same look over and over and over because it's comfortable to me um, so this like I said really gets me trying something different all the time and I have an amazing collab partner she's she's so sweet and she just is so encouraging and um, she's just a really great person and it's really nice working with her it's a, been a very very nice positive experience she's just she's awesome so I have a, quite a bit of fallout here because I wasn't very careful so I'm just gonna get a makeup wipe and try to I'll clean it up better when I'm done but I want to keep it from getting too carried away so I can kind of see what I'm doing that's just my own fault for going a little heavy-handed so anyway I got a little bit of that in the outer corner here which I'm really liking this is so pretty it's like um like I said it's almost like a metallic -y look to it I try to be careful about not getting a lot in my outer corner it tends to be sensitive there for me so I'm going to get some of that off the brush because now I'm going to go into a little bit of a lighter color and I'm going to stay with the shimmers on the lower part of my lid and I went with the mattes on the top because I don't want it to look too heavy um, on the upper part of my lid I want to keep that light I'll keep the color down on my lower lid because like I said the blues are very intense to me so next I'm going to go in with this color the one that looks like we've got a bunch of different colors going on and I had to swatch these um, I think it was earlier today I was swatching them because I'm like I don't really know what to do I've looked at the palette but I'm like I just don't know what to do well let me swatch them and see what the colors look like and then that, maybe that'll give me a better idea of what to do and that helped a lot with me um, trying to figure out like okay what next what, what do I grab first what do I um, grab second I think the first time I used this palette and I really hated the look I came up with I didn't realize how pigmented they were I just dove in there without any sense of direction whatsoever and just started slapping it on and try I went for a lot of the darker stuff and it just didn't work uh, the blue was out of my comfort zone to begin with and then just to go in heavy handed and bold with it I hated it so that's why when I thought about sitting down and doing today's video, I'm like, I'm just going to try to go light and get a sense of direction first so I don't do a look and then I am in a rush to wash it off because I hate it so much. So I'm just trying to put this color in the middle. I'm trying to build it up because it is pretty light. I mean, like I said, I'm trying to do a light look, but I do want to at least see what I'm putting on when I'm done so I'm just putting it in the middle there and I'm trying to um, be a little bit of um, put it on like kind of circular so it doesn't just look like a blob so it's got a little bit of shape to it and I'm trying to build it up a lot because I'm really liking this color and the shimmer in it so I'm just trying to build it up as a matter of fact I think I might go in with my finger and try to put some because it, I think it'll be more intense that way Yeah, a little bit. It's going on a little bit better. I 
but yeah, I was talking to my sister earlier when I said, oh, this is a palette that we're doing this week, and that I was scared. I'm like, they're really pigmented colors. I'm, I don't know what to expect, and I'm getting some fallout, but I'll clean it up. I guess that's, that's about as built up as I'm going to get it. See how it's like shimmery in the middle? I might have to turn my ring light down. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it up so I can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to, um, when I'm done, I'm going to turn it down so you guys can see better. <coughs> and it's a little bit, um, truer to the light that's actually in the room. I'm trying to watch my time. Time always gets away from me. I'm not as experienced, so it seems to take me a while to figure out what I'm doing. And I talk too much. <laughs> and I see I'm getting a lot of fallout. See? Under... So I'll clean that up when I go to put my liner and mascara and stuff on. So lastly, I'm going to go into um, this light shimmer here. That I told you had like the little bit of pinkish lavender um, shift to it. I'm just going to put it on my inner corner there. And then when I'm done, I'm going to take um, the brush that I started with, the All Over Shadow. I have um, fluffier blending brushes, but I think this will be fine. And I'm just going to soften it a little bit. And then I'm pretty much probably going to call it done because I'm pretty happy with it so far and I want to have a relatively simple look. So I'm just going to go on my inner corner down here and put this light color and I think I'm going to have to, um, well maybe not, I was going to say I might have to wet my brush but I'm not sure yet. Oh, should I tap that? I had a lot of fallout right there. I think I put too much on my brush. For some reason, this one seems um, like it's smooth and metallic-y, the look, but it seems like it's um, more powdery when I'm trying to pick it up, like it's really putting a dent in the pan for some reason. I'm not sure what that's all about. being really patchy in the spot too for some reason. Hmm. Not sure what that's all about. It's blending really nice on this eye. See how it's like blending from one color to the next? But on this eye it doesn't seem to want to be doing that for some reason and I'm not sure why that's happening. Hmm. I'm just going to play with it just a minute more and if it doesn't work I'm not going to mess with it too much. This seems to be working a little bit better now. A little bit. I'm having a hard time getting the two colors to kind of merge over here so I'm going to go into the, uh, the medium light color and just bring it over a little bit more so they meet because for some reason it's giving me a little bit of a hard time so anyway like I said I want to keep it simple so I'm going to stop there I'm going to pause the camera for a moment I'm going to um, take the fluffy brush blend it a little bit put my liner and mascara on and then we'll come back and see how it looks once I adjust the light and so forth so I will be back in just a moment to finish this up okay I am back with my completed look so basically I just cleaned up fallout and over in here on my eyes I went in with a blue pencil eyeliner a blue pencil eyeliner on my um, eyelids and I put a white liner in my waterline to brighten my eyes a little bit went in with my mascara and um, that was about it I took a little bit of the um, darker blue shimmer and lined under my lash line on the outside and a little bit of this real light shimmer and lined under my lash line on the inside. So that's all I did. And this is how it looks. Um, I don't know how I feel about the finished look. It's still a little hard to see because the light is so bright. But if I dim it, then it's too dark. So this is how it came out. I'm going to be 100% honest. I did not enjoy working with this palette. Nothing wrong with the palette. Nothing. The formula is nice. 
colors are pretty, the performance is fine. But I feel like my hair and eyes are just too dark to pull off blue eyeshadow. Just my opinion. I don't feel like it works for me. Um, it's 100% out of my comfort zone, I'll give you that. But I was willing to give it a try because it's what the collab's all about. But it's definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, the colors are gorgeous, I'll give you that. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, I swatched all of them except for the, um, the thick glitter because, you know, it's hard to even use it without um, something to adhere it to your eyes to stay. Otherwise, it just pretty much falls all off. Um, but I like the colors. The reason I don't care for the palette besides it being blue is that I don't feel like there's enough variety in the colors to really do that much of a look. All the colors are pretty similar. They are all straight up blue. There's not even a single neutral to break it up. Now if this had this six colors and then maybe a medium brown and like a cream or a tan or something like that, I probably would really enjoy using it because I could break up the blue. But to me it's just it's just blue. How much can you do with just blue? And there's not really even that much of a difference in the shades. As you can see there it's not like there's a deep navy or anything. It's just blue. Um so it's nothing against the palette itself. If you love blue eyeshadow this is a beautiful palette. But it will probably be one I don't reach very, very often. And if I do reach for it, I'll probably grab this and a neutral and, like, use the two together. So, like I said, nothing against the palette. Just, I don't like it because it's out of my comfort zone and I'm not a fan of blue eyeshadow. Like I said at the beginning of the video, blue eyeshadow just screams 80s to me. I don't know if any of you other women out there feel that way. If you grew up in the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. If you can pull off blue eyeshadow, God bless you. I just don't feel like I can. And I'm not even sure how I feel about the look. I am I just don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm feeling like Marty and the professor need to come with the time machine and take me back to the 80s. I'm just a little bit um, heavier, older, a little bit more wrinkled than I was in the 80s. But um, I don't know. Beautiful palette just... I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, maybe you guys can leave some feedback and let me know what you think. I just, I honestly don't know how I feel about the look. I feel a little uncomfortable. I feel like it just brings so much attention to me. Um, whereas neutrals or the things I'm comfortable with, the pinks, orange, peaches, browns, things like that. I, purples, I just, I'm not sure. So, um, you guys will have to let me know what you think because I don't know if I pulled it off or not. So, um, if you like blue eyeshadow, I would recommend it. Beautiful palette. Um, the price point is not bad at all. I've seen these at Ulta and they're not very expensive. Um, like I said, I got this in my Busy Beauty box, so price-wise it was neither here nor there to me because it was part of a bundle but I have seen Juvia's place at Ulta and it was not very expensive and I think that the price point's very affordable so if you like blue eyeshadow definitely pick it up you know you see the colors I just feel a little uncomfortable <laughs> but like I said I was more than willing to try it because that's what our club's about stepping out of our comfort zone and I definitely did that and I left my face bare um, I don't really want to put a lot on it. it's hot today I did throw on some e.l.f. lipstick. This is, um, the color is taffy. Very light, little neutral, just so that my lips weren't bare. And that's all I did. So, um, until next Wednesday, I'm going to wrap this up. If you would like us to try this palette again, please say no. <laughs> um, let us know in the comments. Or if you'd like us to try a new palette, um, we enjoy that feedback as well and um i did ask last week about if you had a specific palette in mind and i did have a couple requests but unfortunately they're palettes that um Steffi and i do not have but um i guess instead of asking about a particular palette if there's a particular color story and then we can see if we have um, matching palettes or similar palettes like if you want to see a purple look or green or blue or or um I mean, you can still suggest a particular palette, but if we don't have it, we'll see what we have that's the closest that we both have. But I definitely like the feedback because it does give us a direction to um, 
going instead of just looking at our piles going, okay, what are we going to grab? What do we have that's kind of the same? And like I said, she had a request for somebody to try a Juvia's Place, and this is the only one that we had in common. Like I said, this is my only Juvia's Place because I did give the other one away in a giveaway. And there's plenty of Juvia's Place that I like. There's a there's a mauve palette and a taupe palette and a pur like a one in violets and purples that I really like that I think would be more my comfort zone. It's just blue doesn't do a lot for me. And like I said, I really debated whether I was going to keep this or not. And like I said, I probably won't use it that much, but I'll probably grab a palette with neutrals and browns and like mix the two. And I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to say goodbye until next time. I really appreciate all of you that decided to watch today. I really appreciate any feedback that you guys leave, even if you want to just say, hi, how are you today? Or let me know how you're doing. And please don't forget the thumbs up. It helps us so much. And it only takes a second to tap the thumbs up. So until next time, bye everyone.